Uh, yeah, um, Michael Wilkinson. I am going to talk to you about um, an added uh, the drug MCAF in 2011. <coughs> um, very surreal experience. Yeah, where do I start? So, I um, <clears throat> had a breakup. Pretty horrific. Even though I was a pisshead and um, I love to party and have a laugh and have fun, I, I was, you know, I had a sense of humour. Uh, but I had this nasty little breakup, and I just come back from Manchester. When I come back from Manchester, I hit Barawash. And Barawash, and uh, there was a group of people, and it was all quiet. And I goes, hey, what's going on down here? Next thing I know, I was on this drug anchor. Um, the group I was with, the um, four or five people that I was with doing it, um, I loved. I loved all them people. I was very close to them people. I was doing it for weeks on end. I, um, they were very close to me. We all didn't clash. We didn't have any issues, didn't have any problems. Yeah, I loved everybody in that group I was doing it with. Um, I felt, I felt, um, I felt at ease. I had the best time in my life for them people. I'm not even lay, lay the names out to them. They knew who they are. Friends. Uh, I some friends about them. Never ever. None of them group, none of that little group ever stiffed me. When I was doing it, I felt comfortable. You know, it was new. And it was very, um, even though it was new, it was very, very, um, it was all very, shh. Because it was new. We all wanted to try it, and we was all on it, and we was all like, where the fuck are we going on this thing, on this travel? And what, what this drug did as well as it allowed when we was on it is that we went in, you know, where you got the drunken bit where everyone gets drunk and you're like, yeah, 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 you can get in with everybody. But you know when you're on the drug bit, I came down like I was into this tunnel of meeting new people on the way down. And it was so, it was fascinating. It was like, oh my God, you would, you know, it was like a secret underworld of people who was doing this drug MCAT. It was absolutely fascinating. It was, it was fascinating. Really good. It was fascinating. It was new. It was an experience that I will take with me for the rest of my days. Um, we're talking about, obviously, the legal drug, which is now illegal. It wasn't until I, um, like I said to you, I came back from uh, Manchester. And everybody was doing this drug, so I started getting on it. Started using it. It was very powerful. It was a very powerful drug. Um, I'm a wimp when it comes to things like this. Very wimpy. It was. Um, I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle not being in control of my own self. But because everybody else was doing it, I carried on doing, doing it, and you know what. Abusing it, if you like. It's like alcohol. I'm dead. And uh, obviously, um, a couple of months after, massively widespread, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people was on this drug. It was massive. Secretly, whatever, whatever you want to call it, everybody was on it. Everybody was doing it. Nobody could say anything. Everybody that I knew was on this fucking drug. And, uh, anyway, I'm flat in my house. And, uh, I only have one person there at a the time. 
I never got left alone before when I was a bit struck. I got left alone. And I was sitting there, just sitting there minding my own business, obviously sniffing away, doing what I was doing. Watching while the other one was upstairs on the phone. And uh, down this passageway, seen these waves coming down the passageway, like predator form. Weird. But it was not like a predator form. It was a, well, it was like a predator form. It was coming down like waves, uh, but they had like this fingerprint layer around them. Very weird. And uh, I started seeing stuff above me as well. I was like, what the fuck, what the fuck? Called that person downstairs and I was like, have I taken too much? Is there something not right? Um, I'm seeing stuff, obviously, I'm mangled. So they come downstairs like, uh, can you see what I see? Can you just sit there and just watch for a second? See what I can see? And they were like, no man, you fucked, you fucked in the head mate, it's alright. We'll go back on my phone, see you in a bit, booyah. Gone. Back on his phone. So I just thought, oh my god, it's drugs. What to expect? So anyway, I thought, you know, as it was coming down, I thought, fuck yeah, let's put my sunglasses on. Put my sunglasses on. Ignored it. Sitting there. And the more that I was concentrating or thinking about things, it was coming down more and more and more. And these shape-shifting people, it was just getting more and more and more. I was like, what the fuck's going on here? Wow. <clears throat> At that present time, I didn't know what I was doing. I hit an all-time eye or something. I took my sunglasses off. I remember taking my sunglasses off. I don't know why I even did this. And I put my sunglasses over this. Over my hand. Span it around like that. And my God. There were people on my set in my living room, walking around. It was absolutely surreal people were dressed in clothing some people never had faces some people did it was all having a gas on my settee like it was like i just hit some kind of frequency it was something that i could never make in my own head i was like oh my god what's happened i've, I've never made it never frightened me put it that way when i when i when i did it i was so high so it didn't really bother me um it was mental, it was something to do with, it, I don't know what it was something to do with, I was like, is it something to do with the perspex plastic, is it, to this day, which is written in my book, it's something that's always bothered me because it's, you know, even when you're taking drugs and it hits this chemical in your brain and whatever, it, you know, allows you to see all these other things, but it was too massively detailed for it not for that not to be true. And it was crazy. And, um, like I said, there was people sitting on my chair. They were, I'm not saying, all, all different types of people. It was massive, it was absolutely, and they, were, and they were watching, they could see me and they could hear me and they, but I could not, um, not, I couldn't hear them. And I couldn't see them visually. It was like I hit some kind of frequency. I don't know what it were, but I hit a frequency, and and it, and that was just the start of what I saw. Anyway, the next day um, when I came off the drug, I was absolutely scared to go back home. Frightened the living shit out of me. I didn't have my kids at the time; they were living with a mum. Frightened the living shit out of me when I went, went home. Normal. Not when I was on the drugs. When I went back home, I thought, oh my God. What? Nothing. Because I come off the drug. No waves. 
no, no, no people in my living room, nothing beyond these glasses, nothing. Gone. Um, I did hit a grid when I was on there as well. There's like a massive grid in front of me. It was a massive fingerprint grid. And beyond the fingerprint grid were people in there like a, a predator form and they were fingerprinted over. Walking around, it was normal. Walking around, having a laugh, I don't know what the... F one was on the set E, right, and there was one there talking away to the one, on, one over the other side, but the one in the middle had no face. One in the middle had a suit and no face. The one that had a dress on, and I can't remember what the other one were, but talking away on my settee, in my living room. Right, anyway, so I left it a few months. I thought, you know what? Put it down to the drugs. Put it down to that. It's fucked. Fucked in the head. There's something else happened. <sighs> Going around with my phone. I put a lens over the phone, didn't I? Put this lens over my phone when I was getting drunk and going outside and just exploring with these things. I don't even know why I even put a lens over the phone. I don't know why. It was like, somebody said, do it, do it, do it. And I did. Put it over my phone. And there were things that I was taking pictures of. I can't describe. My phone was going over. And when the phone were going over, it had like some kind of... Um, I did this with the group mind as well. So I did this a few times with a few people. Um, I was taking these pictures on this phone. And the pictures was going over slowly in black. All the way up. And uh, what we were doing as well is I couldn't be in that perimeter. So I had to be away from that perimeter, if that makes sense. I could not be in that same room. I had to disappear on end why these things were going over. It absolutely scared the shit out of me. I don't know what it were. It was like, oh my God, what have I done? I'm messing around with something that I'm not supposed to mess around with. And I came up with a stupid experiment where, you know, where everyone's got this, you know, where everyone starts with a Ouija board and they start speaking to things with this thing. I did something else. I got a phone, <clears throat> put a lens over it, and um, went playing around when I was drunk up. God knows why the lens worked. I have no idea. Got close to things. Shut me down. Completely shut me off. Shut me down. <clears throat> And it wasn't until uh, I was around um, my house, uh, I was doing this with somebody who was completely normal, who wasn't on drugs, who I'm not going to bring forward. I'm not bringing anybody names forward. And what happened where is that here I was, here I was again because I was so intrigued with what I was doing. And I went round with the lens over this iPhone 5, uh, sunglasses lens, going round. And I uh, blasted into a city and I was seeing pictures and I was seeing faces and I was seeing things and all of a sudden I seen grids come up. <laughs> Quit up like that. It's written in my book. I will show don't mind showing in my book and I wrote this down. Grids came up and it was like three D grids of and it was going dead fast and like <laughs> and it was trees building like that and it was grass like it was going dead fast. It was like <laughs> and it came to the end on this phone and uh, my partner goes what's it doing and it opened up something it went Vroom. I thought it was birds or bats in the background going Zzzz, all the way around I thought what the f like little fizz fizzes fizzes around and there's a blue thing in the middle like that and I was watching it on the phone like that and <clears throat> the weirdest thing is is that it, it, it was not like hypnotism but it wanted me to look and I was watching it and watching it and then I'm more watching it this face was coming in like that through this fist thing like, like that as it got towards the end near enough towards the end just before I seen this face I felt my energy near to come out I was dying I was I, honestly I was dying and I threw that phone and shit myself I was like no for two weeks after then okay for two weeks I could not go in my own ass. I couldn't, I was sitting outside, I was walking the streets, 
I was dizzy. Now those little things at the side, was like static. Now after reading about it and doing it now, it was like static off a television, like an old 80s telly, and it circled, and it was blue in the middle, and it was, and it had eyes in the middle, it was like, like that, and I was watching, and it was pulling a face through, but it wasn't going that way, it was going that way, there, mm -hmm. never got to the end of it, but I felt my energy coming out, coming out, and it was like a fizz formation energy, like a face, I was turning back into a face, it was weird, it was like I was turning back into something, and, uh, I learned my lesson after then. Never touched. Learned my lesson. People that wanted me to do that drug after then, I was very. Who wanted me to carry on doing the experiments that I was doing, um, wanted me to carry on. Because there's some people that saw it, and there's also some people. Some people that saw it, what I did. I didn't want to. Do, I didn't want to do it. I share these story. I share this story because of how the world is nowadays. It bothers me to this day. I am still bothered to this day. How very detailed things happened and I don't use a phone after that not only that it was on the phone when I was putting my lens over the phone as I was going out in the garden and I was seeing things in plants faces in trees in plants something's been very well hidden deliberately I don't know what it is. No idea. But you know what? You know when people say you can see faces in the clouds, you can see faces in things and and whatever, and it's automatically designed into your brain. But you know, as this is what changes my perception of things now, is because once, you know, when that happened to me, with this thing on this phone, I opened up, and there's me, the fucked one, and the person's like, what's it doing, what's it doing? And it did that. It made me realise that it was something different. Something something not right and something going wrong. Something, something that I could never put my finger on. I could never explain it properly. It's absolutely... I don't know, something that I just... I can't tell that story because it's so hard to tell. But then again, uh, as I was learning on, doing this drug on the way on, I started seeing faces in people, in everything. I didn't need to see it. I saw it in stones. I seen it in people. I seen it in everything. Everything in hair. I saw it everywhere. It made me think, what is it? They don't lock people up for this anymore. They don't do that, they just give you a few pills now. They've got their, they, they, they already know, they've got their stories. These people already know what's going on. But we don't. It came down to thinking that um, these things are some kind of like elves. They live with they live within us, and I am one of them people, and you are one of them people. And as weird as this sounds, is that when I thought I was dying, I was going back into a face formation with no hands. It's weird. 
and the old thing about seeing faces everywhere. It's designed to do this, I think. I think it's I think it's purposely designed to do this, so you don't really know the little secrets about what's really going on. And uh, let me just say this, okay? <clears throat> we are made as one, as though everybody says it. Well, clump, 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 say this, clump of faces. Faces, 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 that can form into these different kinds of faces. You know, I call it the fizz formation. If it makes sense. This is really hard to explain. It's like when you see a, a face in a cloud, is that it's not just one face, there's another face, and there's another face, and there's another clump like that. It can do that. It can manifest in, in that thing, in that, in, in that zone. I'm just sharing this story because this is absolutely true. It's not just about the drugs. It's, it's, it's generally something, purposely, um, there's something there. And uh, written in my books as well as living these faces and stuff and everything, living in plants and stuff. And they've got proper faces and that. they're like little elves. I don't, I can't describe what they are. And as for the other people, they must be on a different plane of existence. I have no idea what I saw, but what I'm trying to say to you now is that I saw something. I saw something magical. It was like unlocking something little secret and I've seen this before um, when someone's been punched on telly or something and you can see the you can see a face in there in in the bruising it's like they're mechanically inside of you healing you making you I don't know it's, it's absolutely weird and I, and I can't put my finger on it properly And it's like um, people are seeing things in um, in your photo in photo scans now when they're having birth and stuff like that. Like, what the fuck's that? It's been in the papers. They're living in you. Something's living in you. It's many. It's by many. This is what I'm trying to say. It's like a formation of many. It's weird. People think, you know, people think after this, they think, yeah, man, he's fucked up, he's done so many drugs, he's, he's, he's fucked up. I didn't do lots of drugs. Uh, I didn't know anything before I did this. Nothing at all. But what I will tell you, out of all this story, is that I don't go out buying thousands of pounds worth of video camera equipment, start learning from scratch, go and wank, to being a filmmaker now. Made my short film already, which I put out a little bit and I'm continuing to grow with this this is what that drug has done to me but it's also made me realise my surroundings around me as well who can I trust and who can I be around and what can I do and I'm trying to tell this in the most possible simplest way of chatting away to you uh, without feeling um, Without feeling um, uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable for me to tell you this. As it is uncomfortable probably for you to listen to. But at the end of the day. There is something not fucking right. About things. I don't believe. I believe that I'm going you know, to go back into a face formation when I die. I'm going go back into an elf. Or whatever you call them. The working elf, secret world of elf. Um, you know, we don't say elf like on telly, like little people. We see him now as his face formation. Weird. Nearly died. Nearly died doing that drug. Wasn't trying to take my life. I allowed it to nearly take. In my book. In fact, I'm going to show you something actually. Right here. Right I'm on this here. There's quite a lot of pictures and stuff in here, but I don't want to put them on there because the pictures was going through when I was doing it. 
and I don't want to go back there. But what I am going to show you is that this book here is uh, five years old. What you see there is I thought this was birds. Obviously, I've had five years to think about it. All this was static. Like television static. And there was this whirlwind there with these eyes. And, I was, and as I was looking through it, it was pulling me, pulling, no not me, it was pulling these face closer towards me dying to show at the end to show the face I know we got to the face and it was coming that way <clears throat> again I can't really show you on here I'm not willing prepared to show my pictures of what I saw but there's pictures there I'm not going to show you simple fact is it's because those pictures was never supposed to be developed, uh, supposed to be seen. And a lot of my pictures was gone over on phone. For some reason. I had a lot of shit happen to me. Um, I, don't, I'm not, I don't do drugs now. I don't do it. I'm happily with my family and my children. Um, I've also had... The phone taking me to different addresses as well. And one of the addresses was in uh, Ilkeston Cotman, eh? And it was to another house where a person had just died. And they wanted me to go to this address. I didn't go to it. Magnificent stuff. Fascinating stuff. You can think for one sec that I one is that I could be a weirdo, which I am. Two for the simple fact is that I could be telling some kind of truth and there could be something into this now. Or three, it could be a fairy tale. It's up to you to choose whatever you think and want to hear and whatever you believe in. But let's just get something straight right now is that we are moving in at an incredible speed right now and my Facebook is more fuller of, of things that aren't real. Not about people anymore. It's about, oh, UFOs. Oh, oh my God, the world ain't real. The world's holographic. Peter, David Icke. It's, it's just absolutely crazy right now. And uh, the people say, he's a fucking weirdo. Well, so is the world right now. So is the world. Maybe take this away with you one day. I'll never forget this. This is something that I needed to bring out and tell you. Thank you for listening to me. Oops. And, uh, you know what? Um, just before I go as well as... Um, when I was... Yeah, again, when I was high, because obviously I see more than what I was like, you know, when I, when I was high, I've seen things in the trees as well. Um, so I've also seen this uh, reptilian thing down Trent Meadows with a massive long beak. It morphed itself back into a tree. And the only reason I could see that is because I put this lens over a camera. Phone. And there's other things and all roaming around in the trees. When you see the leaves going and stuff like that, when you look, it's like when you're drunk and you look and they're not going so fast or they're going so slow. It's like some kind of strange frequency moving slower and faster. It's like if you could slow it down, you could see what was really there. Crazy? No. No. Like I said to you, thanks for listening. It's not the old full story of myself. I'm quite nervous about what I'm trying to say to you today. 
thank you for listening to me. Uh, maybe you can, you don't have to make a comment or explain or what you, you relate, you, maybe you could relate to what I've said. Maybe you could say that, oh, when I did MCAL, oh my God, I saw blurriness in front of me. I saw um, uh, faces in the trees that could morph into faces. I'll tell you something right now. And this is on my wall somewhere. I got to this plant, this tree at a friend's house, and I turned around on my camera and I was fucked out of my head. I turned around and it was a face looking at me, leafed into a face. And a little spawn, little thing in a little plant like that. And it was staring at me. It was like, yeah. And that is weird. That's that is fucking weird for me to tell you. That you're like, oh no, it's just a plant, is it? Madness, me. Do I believe in ghosts? Yeah. Do I believe in a frequency? Do I believe in a speed? Yeah. How do yeah? Do I believe in the chemical? Yeah. Chemicals. Yeah. All got DMT inside of us. So can you imagine what we'd do if we took DMT now? What that would allow us to show us? So we're all basically drugged anyway. Do your own work. Like I said, Thanks for listening to me. I hope I shed a little bit of light into other people's scenes. Not afraid to come forward to tell what I saw on drugs. Don't care. In person, it would never be like this. It would be like, oh my god, yeah, 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 and we could have a laugh and talk about it and it would twist it and whatever. But you know what? You get basically part of this story now. You take it away with you. This is part of my life. This is part of something I saw. This is part of me. My books are like that. The one that I've shown you is one of many. Thanks for, thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, it was six years ago. Um, and I just had a breakup. Uh, come back from Manchester and everybody was doing drugs very vulnerable and uh, come back to my own area everyone doing drugs so I did it even including friends I didn't really like doing it, being in control of my own body it was a very powerful drug uh, that I was on I used to hang off the walls on it or it used to turn me into a cabbage where I didn't really speak much at all <laughs> but I liked some aspect of the drug where you the love of music and you could have like this sesh with a group of of anyone and just sit there and talk for ages or you could just take too much and you end up like a cabbage like I did many times or walk in the streets late at night well this was in my house doing it every weekend and this was in my house, and um, a friend of mine went upstairs on the phone. I got left on my own when I was doing this drug, and I sat there, and I could see waves down the hallway. And I was like, what well, was these waves? All different kinds, all different shapes, all coming down. There was like a fingerprint wave of, of people. Or a if you like, all coming down the hallway and uh, shouting me down and says, can you see what I can see? I think, think I've had too much. I said, just watch, watch down the hallway, mate. Can you see that? And he's like, no, mate, no, you fooled. <clears throat> fucked out your head. And uh, I was like, fair enough. And he shot back upstairs. And I just sat there. And the more and more that I sat there, the more and more of these things coming down the hallway and filling out this li my living room and obviously walking straight through my hallway down and out the door. I was like, what? What is it? For some reason I grabbed um, a sunglasser lens off my sunglasses 
and put it on my hand and turned it like that and um, it, it, it was clear what I saw and it was people all different people walking down the hallway in my living room on my settee very too detailed very I was chatting away uh, one on the settee the lady was talking to one at the end and the one in the middle was had the suit on with no face like a grey face <clears throat> but these two was chin wagging on the end and my room was full of full of people now I don't see these kind of things when you're not on drugs right and when I was on them it was very very detailed and I'm telling you very detailed everything was detailed including to what they were wearing to what they were carrying like they was going on some kind of journey <coughs> It was weird. As I got my friend back down, uh, again on the second time with the sunglasses lens, I says to him, I says, nah, can you see this down the hallway? And there were kids running down the hallway. And he was like, yes, mate, I can see it. Shit himself. I'm not really going to say who it is, because it will sound... He didn't want to get involved, because it sounds too crazy. He's like, yeah, mate, yeah, sound. Anyway, the next day... Um, well, I went out that night, and the next day, obviously, I was m more scared being going back normal than I was when I was out of my head. I didn't really bother me when I was out of my head, but going back scared me a little bit. And um, <coughs> there was another friend that had to come down and uh, make sure that I was okay, and make sure that um, I, I wasn't going a bit fucking <laughs> upstairs, going a bit old, losing my marbles. Anyway, as it progressed, um, week after week, everyone was getting fucked out of the head, or I was getting called to come out so I could pay for people's drugs. And I didn't really like uh, doing them. Like I said, I liked the sesh, like talking to people, and I liked um, the music. But it was just too much for me to handle. Um, I know I used to walk the streets quite a lot while I was just providing for certain people who was um, calling me up one didn't want me to one these my so called friends didn't want me to come out to see them they wanted me to pay for their shit and I did and I ended up walking the streets most of the night um, I was uh, around another house as well and I was um, at a party and I was still using the sunglasses lens um, they didn't think I was weird because I was upstairs doing it and they was doing their own thing because this drug kind of like makes you go into your own zone on some people. And I was upstairs <coughs> searching around and you could see see things and uh, I came downstairs and there was this plant and I leant forward and the plant were behind me I leant forward and I felt like something was um, I could feel something, some, some, some staring at me if you like. I turned around and it was just this plant. <coughs> I got the phone, I said, pass me a phone like that. And what it did, it, from this angle like that, the phone, like that. And it was um, some kind of facial species, species on this plant. And it looked scared. And underneath it was a little sibling version of, of, a species under the under under this plant <coughs> and uh, I did get the picture of it um, I don't know where it's actually gone at the minute but I did get that picture um, and that's that and that's that bit and all that as you can see um, <coughs> I should be able to sail through this and be able to talk to you about all this easily but it's not it's not easy for me to to talk to it's not it's not very easy to, to try and make people understand and sound and it sounds okay normal people it sounds fucking crazy and it sounds weird 
and uh, I'm sitting here like laughing a little bit because other people are thinking, fuck me man, he's gone mad, he's cracked up. He's looking, come, come, come join me on the crazy train. Or you can actually believe what I'm saying. Uh, I also got pictures as well as, because uh, when I started doing drugs um, from day one, about how I was feeling and about what it was doing, about what I was seeing, uh, I wrote it all down <coughs> and uh, I got pictures. I got pictures of the um, so-called machine elves that Terence McKenna talk about. Um, what I captured was a uh, one covered in look like complete gold with a tin hat. Uh, one of them, very powerful one, and loads of stick figures in my garden. I just I captured uh, loads of things in trees and pictures and and this and don't forget that I have also studied the pareidolia, seeing pictures and things in everywhere. I've studied all that, so I'm aware of, of something different and something. Um, and the reason why I talk about this is something really different did happen to blow all that crap out of the water. Right, I was with somebody completely normal, and uh, obviously to this stage I've moved on from camera lens, uh, from sunglass lens to camera phone, while well, I've been on drugs. Has anyone ever tried it? Has anyone ever gone out there, fucked out there, Ed? And then started wanting to record what they see or what they do. Yeah, I tell you, nearly lost my fucking life doing it. I was with somebody that was completely normal, and uh, there I was with my phone exploring all of a sudden my phone went all fucking weird zoom went all green and weirdy and it was it started like chasing down this phone like vroom on the floor way like like through the, on the floor zooming down vroom and as it was going forward on the phone it was pulling up green like building green mountains trees and stuff like that vroom then all of a sudden the phone opened up like this holy portal bit and around it was like which I thought was like the tiny flocks of birds sounds weird it wasn't it was static around the phone and it opened up <clears throat> I don't know what happened in the middle of it were blue and I was looking I was like what what's it doing I was like looking with the person next to me it was normal and they were like I don't know and and as I was watching and it was pulling in a in something like a face and the face was coming in like that as I was watching and it was coming like that closer and closer as it was coming down and I felt um, something coming out of my body like I was dying no word of a lie immediately I threw my phone down like that got ran out the ass like no like in panic and I have never been ill f um, like I were for we I was ill for weeks on end and it was um took me about two weeks properly to get back inside the house because of how I felt. I felt dizzy. Um like I don't know if you know this when someone dies you can feel like the dizziness in in the house. I felt like that. And uh, I couldn't go back in for days. Um then after that, weirdly uh, the phone itself was taking me to these addresses. It was telling me these addresses on the phone, and uh, the address that it was one of them. It was telling me was somebody who had died two doors away, two doors up. Sorry, two doors up. She just recently passed and died, and I never went round the house or anything like that. I actually got rid of the phone. And to this day now that I do not own um, a mobile phone because of this. Um, <clears throat> obviously I'm not going in line with what I'm saying to you right now. But when I was taking pictures as well as under the influence of drugs. Um, there was quite a lot of pictures going over in black at the top. Going like that. Going down. Going black. And um, it was creating some kind of sucking, <clears throat> and uh, I couldn't be around that like perimeter, if you like. Um, when it when it was happening, it was really taking over the photographs. Like 
um, highlighting them off or doing something off to them. So these so these images couldn't be shown to anybody. But it, but I figured out on the way down the line is that you was allowed to um, see what was going off or get pictures of what was going off, what was in the garden when you was fucked out your head. Uh, you was allowed to see them pictures. Be it, you know, having them and recording them and taking pictures of them. Oh no, oh no, no. And it absolutely blew that paradola out for me out of the water. Um, knowing that um, uh, there's something else. And it obviously changed my whole perspective on um, the world itself. Um, seeing it change and seeing something change un under th this influence of drug and um, getting these pictures it was going over. Managed to get a few, don't get me wrong, managed to get a few pictures but um, I don't put them online or plaster them online because um, obviously they don't, for some reason this online lark, they don't like these pictures and, um, and I've obviously kept them in this book what I've wrote six years ago and I've kept it short. Um, I am very passionate about things that's coming to the surface now. Um, as I go back, when I saw the waves down my hallway, I should have just, I don't know why I can't just say this when, when, <laughs> when I'm talking about it. When I saw the waves in my hallway, <clears throat> going back, um, I didn't necessarily just see that. I sat on my chair and I remember looking up and I seen all these faces around me as I was moving them around. There was all these like, I, it's formless energy around me. And I felt these faces around me with love and it was love. It was warmth, it was nice, it was a feeling of, they were surrounding and, and that bit was nice. But as for all, all these other people walking down the hall, I don't know. I don't know what they were. Um, I've been able to see these uh, waves a few times before, not just in my house when I've been fucked out of my head and I've um, walked down the street or I've, one was in San Diego, walking past me, uh, just a full blown like a predator invisible wave, a fingerprint wave, walks past me and I saw it and it looked, it looked turned around, you could see it. And just stared at me as they'd say, how the fuck can you see me? Um, the drug is a very, after studying the drug that I was on, is a, a very high powered psychedelic drug. You don't need DMT to see what I saw. And this doesn't make me special about what I've seen at all. It makes me not know anything whatsoever. It's just sharing my psychedelic experiences with you. Um, but it tells you something that maybe I just sat there, left on my own, drugged up, and I was meditating in some way. And then as I was meditating, I was seeing what was around me. And that's what happened. But since all this has happened and everything like that, I've become very open, I'm very awake. I hear random music just being played um, on the radio that I haven't heard in years. And I, I feel like something is trying to reach and connect in some way. Um, but also, as well as after... Or doing all this and and seeing all this, I um, thought I did crack up, so I went to um, Nuffield Hospital after seeing the doctor. Tried to put me on something called Qualifying. I can't remember what the name was, or uh, but I didn't take it. Um, I had uh, hour meetings every week to talk about what I saw and what was going on. But really, they was looking at me. They were in it for the fucking money. And they didn't give a fuck. As soon as that hour came up, zoom, gone, straight in the car, wherever. And that's what I saw. And I thought, I'm not having these people in my life anymore. I don't want them. Uh, but the one good thing that came out of it is that they put me with some people. Um, 
every couple of week who were doing drawings and creating. It was basically on the same kind of level of what I saw. There were some absolute froobs, <laughs> if I can say that word, sorry. Uh, but there was also some brilliant minds and uh, some people created some brilliant drawings. Um, but really the book that I did five years ago, after, after all this, um, I shut away. And I just um, thought, okay, I'm not going to say anything. And uh, as all these theories are coming out now with the world's holographic and it's run by all these archons and um, the earth's flat and um, it's, it's very interesting stories and it's interesting to learn and listen to and to go back and see that all about this about the flat earth and everything is really people write about this and there's maps about this from years and years ago and um, and that's where I've just found my learning spot to learn about all this new stuff going off right now so all I'm doing really is I'm, I've, I've took what I've what I saw and then obviously with these new theories and stuff like that and I've studied and I've studied really good people can have either watch me and listen or they don't that's up to them that's their choice um, it's like I said it's nothing that I know I'm just sharing my psychedelic experiences with you and um, and it's really interesting well it is for me anyway <laughs> thanks for listening and bearing with me with this I'm not very good when I'm when I'm coming face to face trying to talk to you about <laughs> this absolute weird shit for some people, people are like he's gone fucking tapped. No, I haven't gone tapped. No, I was um, I've grown up, but um, and I will never obviously touch um, that drug again. Ever. I've had my experiences with it and my time with it, and um, and I'm sharing what I saw with it. Anyway, thank you very much for listening to me. I hope I haven't gone on too much. Um, if you feel like you need to take a gun out and go, fucking hell, poof! <laughs> Off your chart. Thanks a lot.